Shelly, it's always great to see you. First of all, I want to get your thoughts about um, this move from Nintendo. Is this a game chip? <laughs> You're looking for Pokemons, I know it. Is this obviously, a game? I'm, uh, quite obviously, I'm looking for it in here in the studio because I've been <laughs> addicted to this for three days. Uh, I, so and wait you, a second. And, you and everyone else in the world. How much of a game changer, first of all, is this for Nintendo, who a lot of people thought were down and out? You know, they did count Nintendo down and out um, pretty seriously. I think the facts and evidence are clear. Nintendo has made a big, big, big jump into augmented reality, and everybody paid attention. Their stock reflects it. But the broader question is, what does this mean for AR writ large? And I think what this is going to show you is augmented reality has all kinds of applications that virtual reality doesn't have, this is the technology to watch. You can obviously play games. Clearly, Pokemon Go is a great game, and for those of you who have been under a rock for three days, what happens is you go around on your phone, you try to find specific landmarks, you're searching for Pokemon, and when you find one, you get to throw a Pokeball, a Pokeball at it, and it's, it's kind of a super fun game. It's totally addictive. It's nostalgic for the millennials who started to play with Pokemon when they were six, seven, eight years old, and now mm. this hasn't, believe it or not a nostalgia component to it, but augmented reality is a very serious tool set, and it can be used for all kinds of things. And Shelley, I'm let pretty me ask sure you a question. You're start it. I, and I think a lot of people sort of intuitively know that once they start playing the game and think, "Wow, I could see this in a lot of different uses." What does this say about so many of the other tech companies that seem to go all in on virtual reality? We've seen Facebook and and Sony, so many companies with the big headsets as as the future. Did they get it wrong? They didn't get it wrong. Virtual reality is the first obvious uh, use case is gaming, which is a multi-billion dollar industry and a good place to go. Also training, experiential uh, training, travel, all kinds of things that work perfectly in a virtual reality environment. And as that evolves, we're going to see a really special place happen in maybe, I don't know, a few years out where you're just not going to be able to tell the difference between what's real and what's fake. It's going to be a kind of a fascinating time. Augmented reality is a completely different approach. What this allows allows you to do is put things in the real world. If you're traveling, you can have statistics coming up. If you're a doctor and you walk in and you point at a, uh, a incubator or a crib or a patient, you'll see the vital signs come up. There are so many uses where we need data or we could augment the reality for storytelling, for business, for all, uh, interchanges of all kinds, including communication. So there are different technologies. Each of them relies on uh, a lot of computing power, and they're using tools to help us interpret the world around us. And that's a big message here. This is not so far um, a field from natural language processing and image recognition. It is not so far a field from all those technologies that that we don't see, but we use every day. Yeah. Imagine an augmented reality search. It, it, it starts, your mind just keeps going and going and going. These are both amazing technologies, and Nintendo got there first and fast, and they've done an amazing job with Pokemon Go. Right, and, and the interesting thing is gonna be to watch to see who also uh, moves in that direction in a big way. Is it the tech giants? Is it more app makers who are able to really leg up on this? The adoption rate is what's fascinating. A lot of us are so resistant about this new stuff. With Pokemon Go, you saw augmented reality as a very low barrier, which is going to be so interesting for people. Shelly, we're out of time on this busy news day, but come back again and see us. We'll let you go play your Pokemon Go. Thanks, Shelly.